this is Doug Barnberg and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about Texas rigging. Uh, we've, got our, we've got our Dobbins uh, warm rod here and what we're going to talk about is uh, how I Texas rig different baits and uh, using different weights, different hook sizes, different baits. They all basically work the same. Uh, for your lighter baits, this I use the Elite Tungsten uh, product. It's a very, very, very high quality product. Uh, it don't damage your line. Uh, it's an insert free weight. Comes in a variety of sizes from like uh, an eighth ounce all the way up to like an ounce and a half. So you've got a wide selection. And what I recommend is to use your bait and your depth and where you're targeting those fish to determine weight size. Uh, and the speed of fall you want that bait. If you're flipping a dock and you want the bait to drop a lot faster, then you should use a bigger weight than a smaller weight. If you want that bait to slowly fall, you need to use a smaller weight. Also, if you're in shallower water, there's no use using an ounce weight when a quarter, three sixteenths, three eighths, five sixteenths, something like that will get you the same depth. Basically what you need is once you have your rod rigged up, is uh, you've got your line. Basically grab your weight. We're going to tie a quarter ounce on here first. One nice thing with this Elite Tungsten product is they come in an individual pack so your weights are not bouncing together and it maintains that high gloss finish uh, time after time. But you just take your weight and you'll slide it on your line the, and then you need to grab your hook. Uh, this is a 3 aught must add warm hook. The, the knot I like to tie because it's so quick and easy and I've had very very good su success with it is the uh, polymer knot which you just slide it through your eyelet of your bait, turn around and slide it right back through it. Just kind of make you a loop like this loop it over, around, back over your hook, and then start pulling. What I like to do is just moisten this just a little bit. You moisten that, pull it, keep that eyelet around, and your tag in. Just trim that tag in close to the hook. Make sure it's good and snug. Your weight drops down. That's all you need for Texas rig. Now with this three odd hook, there's a variety of baits that you could use. I like, uh, here's some sweet beavers, here's some pocket crawls. This is the, the Decamix, uh, a tube. I've got a little uh, Yamamoto crawl there. The Decamix is a little big, bigger bait. I like throwing the big five inch boom boom tube. Uh, this is the baby pocket crawl. We'll grab one of them out of there. Uh, this is the sweet beaver, the, the 4.20 size. And we'll grab a fat baby crawl from Yamamoto. It's a little smaller crawl there. Plus I've got an assortment. Here's a big 10 inch paddle tail worm. Here's a big 12 inch uh, th ribbon tail thumper style worm. Catch some big old fish suspended in trees on that. And then your old standby, just a nice little 7 inch uh, ribbon tail worm there. The big thing about choosing your hook size is this 3 odd hook is pretty small. If you try to put that in a big old bait like that, that fish ain't got a lot of, I mean he's got to come a long ways to get to that hook. So make, hook size selection has a lot to do with the bait you're throwing. A big bait like this creature bait. The main body part is right here. That would get you by, but you've still got plenty of room back here to go a little extra longer. And that's the thing is you go from 2 out to 3 out to 4 out to 5 out, and I'll even show you an 11 out hook that I use in the big worms here. Uh, the bigger the hook you can get it back, especially on a weighted bait, will help that, that fish, if he's short striking, to get a hook in his mouth. Fat baby crawl, 
that thing's getting almost to the back end here. It's probably a little bit too big for that bait, but it would be a great hook like in this uh, pocket crawl here. And if you look at this pot on a pocket crawl, they've got eyes on it. One of the things that does is some of these baits, the appendages are offset, so it gives it more vibration as those, those crawls go through the water. So what you want to do is take that hook and always put it on the bottom side. A lot of times they'll be labeled. There'll be a difference in the bait. You need to look at it to make sure you're rigging that bait right. With a pocket crawl, it's really easy because they put a head on it where you can see the little eyes on boat on the top. So all you want to do is just flip it over. My judgment is to take it, take it in to the bottom of that turn there. Pull it straight through. Slide it down the hook. Kind of twist and turn as you go on there. That way you're not damaging this bait as you go through there. Pull it back and slide it in. Now you see I've got it really, really close to that skin. What that allows me to do is just take that bait, pull it back a little bit, slide it. So that hook is, is exposed into the bait, which makes it snag free. We've got our weight and our bait, and we're ready to go fishing. Now there's a couple other things that I'd like to show you. With this style of bait here, one of the things you can do to make it a little more enticing is, is insert a a type of rattle. There's all kinds of types of different rattles and the rattle that I like in this hollow tube style bait is a glass rattle with a steel bead in it. They also make uh, these little bullet style rattles. Uh, there's there's multitudes of different rattles. But this little glass uh, and uh, bead rattle, you can take that thing and you can shove it right in there. If you take your little tool you can take that thing and you can slide it on up in there. You got a nice little rattling crawl tube. That's, that's just one bait that you can do. We're, next thing I'm going to show you is we're going to use a little heavier weight. We're going to go to a 5 16ths here. Elite Tungsten again. These come pre-packaged. Now instead of making this a free floating weight that runs up and down, I'm going to do something a little different. We're going to take a deal called a bobber stopper. A bobber stopper is something that crappie fishermen have been using for a long time and you can buy them in all sorted colors and stuff. But they come on a little wire here. You've got a little wire with a bobber stopper on it. All you have to do is take your line, run it through that wire, pull it up, and pull the bobber stopper from the wire onto the line and just keep pulling and your tag into your line will come through just slide it on up now where you pull that on is going to put a little tiny nick in your line what I recommend to do is go ahead and cut that off that way you don't have any chance of a break off there you got your bobber stopper on we take our weight we put it on now we're going to tie on a sweet beaver. One thing about a sweet beaver, it's kind of the same way. You've got two little eyes on here, so that tells you point that side up. With the sweet beaver, you can get by with a little bigger hook. There's our four off. It's just a hair long. If you look at this, you lay that hook on there, it just barely would get right back here where that bend would get. So that's a little bit too big. Five is definitely going to be way, way too big. So what we want to do is we want to grab a three off and just keep going down in size until you can match that hook to the bait. Like we've done here, we'll get it th that hook is going to fit in there. So you take that hook, flip it through your line again, through the eyelet, back through the eyelet again. up and around the hook, moisten, cinch it, cut our tag end off, 
and we have our weight. Now you just take the bobber stop, slide it right down against the weight, and you're going to have a solid weight to weight to the hook there. Now you take your sweet beaver, do the same thing. You just what I like to do is slide it in until I get to that bend there. That's one thing that's nice about these mustads is that bend is about the same dimension as where you're going to have your bait here. You take that, slide it through, just so where it sits nice there. Take that hook, bind it up just a hair, slide that through, and then just pull your bait just up a little bit and back down on the hook point. One thing about these sweet beaver style baits, if you want to, if you want more of a flapping action, you can leave this tail together or you can just gently pull it apart. And now you've got two wiggling crawls down there. It gives it a little more action. Pull that down, pull your bobber stopper down, and you have your bait. Totally assembled. To work to your work to real heavy dense cover. It's gonna hang up a lot less. And that's one thing is your your hook style or your weight selection. Match it to your style of bait. You know, if you've got a big bulky here, you could go with a little bit bigger bulky weight on the front. Uh, and depending on depth. This is this would be excellent to fish a five sixteenths in the from shallow flipping where you want that bait to get in there fast, all the way down to about ten foot, uh, especially on these very very sensitive balanced uh, rods like this Dobbins uh, Champion Extreme here. I hope you check out the great products from Elite Tungsten. They're a new company. They've really done their homework on making a weight. And one of the things that you'll find out on Tungsten is being, take that weight and find out. Just turn that thing into 90 degrees and slide it down through there and see if it damages your line. That, weight, that line coming through that weight is the, is the only key you've got to catching fish or breaking off. And a, and a weight can have a tremendous amount of problems uh, causing damage to your line. So there's a lot of difference between tungsten. This is a 97% tungsten product. Uh, very, very durable finishes. They're, they're going to great attention to detail to package the weights so that they arrive at your place in perfect condition. And while you're using them and storing them, they stay in that super nice glossy condition so they match your bait so you can catch more fish. I hope that helped you and tune in next time to more tips and tricks from Doug Barnberg.